PlayStation recently had their the PlayStation State of Play. I don't know if anybody I don't know about anybody out there seen that this PlayStation State of Play, they they just had that recently. And you know That's too mellow right there. I need something. Like I said, I'm trying to um, switch to the lo-fi hip-hop right now. And like, one of them will put me to sleep in the first two seconds when listening to it. Give me a second. Something that's pretty good. We all want to help one another. Human beings are like that. Yep. So, of course, I was on. Um, I was so they had the, the no, they had their state of play today, and of course, you know, I was hearing like, oh, it was trash. It was garbage. The only good thing about it was um was. The only good thing about it was um, Last of Us. Everybody's like, yeah, Last of Us 2. That was like the only great thing about it. It was like a bunch of indie games. It was a trailer for Call of Duty. And then that was it. Like, yo, for, for the most part, people were like, yo, this thing is trash. So, so, so many YouTube reviewers were saying that it was trash. So I, I actually looked at it. I was like, I actually need to look at this thing because I keep talking about it's trash. And for the most part, I guess I could I could see why they say it's trash. I don't think it was trash, but here's why I think they said that. It was a bunch of indie games that nobody was really checking for or looking for. And then, you know, if you're an indie game, you have to wow the people with your trailer. Or you have to wow them with some... With, you have to show why your game is unique and why people should invest in your game or why people should, you know, buy your game. And I feel like the indie games that they showed didn't do any of that. There was nothing. I'm, I'm, I'm looking at my list here to see if there was any. There was nothing as far as the indie games that looked, that looked intriguing. Like nothing. None of them. All of them looked like, I was like, yeah, I'll skip it. Like, I think somebody would have to give. I think I would have to see somebody play them. Or maybe I would, like, I wouldn't, like, honestly, I wouldn't buy them. I wouldn't buy them. I wouldn't buy them. If somebody gave them to me, I'll play them. Like, if it was given to me, I would play them, and then i will give my honest opinion on it. But it, it, I didn't see anything that looked interesting to me. Like, it was like a, a, a Katamari special successor. It was another one where, like, I can't, you know, it was, it was forgettable, trust me. And then the rest of it was like, you know, um, the new FIFA game. You know, it was like, it was like a new, no, it wasn't a new FIFA game. It was a new MLB The Show game. It was... A, a bunch of VR games. The VR games, some of the VR games were dope, but like, how many people really have a PlayStation? There's not a lot of people that have a PlayStation VR. The VR stuff looked good though. It looked good. Like, there was one called Aspire and then LA Noir VR. Like, that looked good. But like, I don't have a PlayStation VR, so I don't care about it. There's a lot of people that don't have a PlayStation VR. And even if they do, it's hard to like, if you're a video game streamer, it's hard to stream that. It's hard to stream it because you you need you need a you need a powerful PC or machine to stream it. Like you can stream with the PlayStation. Like if you want a high quality stream, like you can use your PlayStation camera and try to stream it, but it's not going to be the same. It's going to be it's going to be trash. So, but so I'm sitting here like so okay. Yeah, I had a bunch of VR games that to me look good, but yo the VR games were forgettable to the point where like I didn't hear anybody talk about it. Like, I listened to three or four different YouTubers that talked about the place in the state of play. None of them mentioned the VR games. None of them. Not a single one. And some, and like I said, they look good. I looked at the, I was like, wow, that looks kind of good. But I don't have a place in VR. And they probably don't either. So they don't care about it. There's a lot of people that don't have one. I know, I don't know, I, I don't know a single person that has a place in VR. I know people that have VRs. I know people that have VR, but they have either Oculus Oculus Rift or they have a HTC Vive, um, Vive they have that but they do not have the PlayStation VR and I feel like the PlayStation VR I feel like is going gonna, gonna to be something that sells when the PS5 comes out PS5 comes out the PlayStation VR is going to drop in price 
people are going to copy and play all the VR games that they never got a chance to play. I feel like that's what's going to happen. I feel like that's what I'm going to do. But a lot of a lot of people ain't going a lot of people ain't going to play. It. So they had like so the, the the VR game I thought looked interesting was LA New, um, Noir VR that looked interesting. Aspire VR, Stardust VR, Space Channel Five VR. They had to bring that back, and then they had a medieval demo. Yo, the reason why I put Medieval on my list right here was because, number one, who in the world wants another Medieval game? Like, that was a forgettable game on the PlayStation. The original PlayStation, the first play, play, PlayStation 1. It was a forgettable game. So when they, they, were, they, was like, so when they made a remake, I'm like, when they doing a remake or a remaster or whatever they did, I think it's a remake, like, or it's like a new game, or basically it's not, it's not a remake, it's a new game. I'm like, yo, who the f Yo, who wanted this? Who wanted that? Who wanted a new medieval game? Like, I didn't want it. Nobody, I don't, yo, I don't know a single person coming out like, yo, medieval, that was a dope game. It's more like, oh yeah, medieval, I remember it. It's, it's like almost every time, every person that, when it comes up, oh yeah, I remember when medieval came out. Hardly anybody played it when it came out. So I'm kind of like, I'm surprised they even like, yo, we're going to remake this game. Who wanted that? Who wanted that game? I just feel like with I just feel like PlayStation was or for this console generation, they were riding the exclusive train so hard, they just oh, this is another one that can be exclusive. Like they like the PlayStation 4, they had like really good exclusive for first party titles. So I feel like, oh, now. What I'm supposed to be doing here. I feel like um, nobody wanted that game. Nobody wanted that 